Hey everyone, um, it's been 16 days since my uh, post-surgery, so I wanted to give you updates on you know, how I'm coping with the, with the surgery and with the injury. So as of right now, um, it's December 2nd, so I had my surgery on November 16th. On November 29th, which was three days ago, I saw my doctor. Um, actually, shout out to Dr. Stephen Silver. He actually allowed us to take some videos while he was taking out the stitches from my um, sutures. Wasn't expecting it to be, you know, painful, but it was, you know, there was there was pain. Um, so if everything is okay as of right now. Um, the wound looks good. Um, it's drying up well. So actually, during nighttime, you you feel it that it's you know it's drying up and it's starting to get better. But at nighttime, that's when it hurts. I normally don't take my pain meds. Um, I take it before I go to sleep only, because at like in between my sleep during around three o'clock, four o'clock. I wake up in pain, so I'm trying to avoid that. Um, I normally um, I normally wear my boot when I'm sleeping. Uh, you're supposed to, I believe, during this time. And um, yeah, so whenever whenever I have a hard time wearing it, I actually end up wearing something else, which is this one. I keep it wrapped up, and I wear this. Just, uh, you know, some nights when I when I just really, you know, I can't really sleep with the boot on, so I move to this one. Um, I don't know if your doctor will recommend you that. Uh, my doctor didn't, but I just, you know, it's it's just for me to help me sleep at nighttime. Um, I also use this. I told you on my last video that I, you know, I was able to purchase a pillow to elevate my foot and that's what I've been using. Um, what else? Uh, I don't know if I was able to share this with you on my last video, but this is the knee scooter that I've been using. Sorry, right there. This is what I've been using. I highly recommend that. It's a game changer. Um, the crutches does, you know, what it's supposed to, but if you want to be able to move easily at home, I suggest you invest on one of these. This week, I was able to go out. Um, my wife and I went gro uh, grocery shopping and we also went to get a Christmas tree. Um, it was I was lucky enough to go to a place where they had the ECVs. So I was able to move around. I'll also post a video on this. Um, I'll add it here. It was, you know, it was a great experience actually using one of those. Um, if I wasn't injured, I'll, <laughs> if it's possible, I'll wear one. I'll, I'll still use one of those. But um, yeah, it kind of people are staring at me. Actually, one guy made a comment that like, uh, out of everyone that I've seen using that. You know, uh, ECV. You're you're the one who actually needs it. So, <laughs> you know, it's funny. So you get that look from people that like they kind of feel bad for you, but I like it. I enjoy using it. Um, this is this is part of the boot. Just wanted to show you. It has the the pumps to keep your foot um, in place and to give you comfort. Also, when you're wearing a boot, they make you wear the wedges right there so it's as, as of right now it's three stacks to keep your foot in place um, I normally wear my boot the whole day it's just that right now I'm just trying to show you on this video that's why you know I, I put it on the side for now um, what else uh, I was able to work out yesterday um, I only did probably like 80 to 100 knee push-ups. Did some, uh, what do you call this? Uh, Sit-ups and I did leg raises because that's what they recommend you start doing. Make sure your hip muscles are starting, you know, to get stronger, especially on the injured foot. 
also um, one thing you'll notice around this time you're gonna start losing muscles look at my leg this is my normal this is my normal leg this is my normal leg right there this is my injured leg I'm starting to lose all the muscles so it's part of the it's part of the process also I'm starting to gain weight I'm starting to gain weight here but you know you like what I say, you just gotta enjoy the journey. That's part of it. Um, I'm seeing Dr. Stephen in like, Stephen Silver in like two weeks. Um, I'll have an update for you by then. Hopefully, I'm able to put weight on this foot. Because as of right now, you're not supposed to. Not even, you know, just not even stand like standing or wearing your shoes. You're supposed to just keep it um, elevated and no weight. Um, what else? Um, I wanted to give you this information also. When uh, if you decide to get a surgery, make sure, um, make sure the doctor that you're gonna see is in full network or full circle with your insurance. I heard from other people that like um, their surgery, you know, the price that they paid for the surgeries were like insane so mine mr or dr silver was actually in full network with my cert with my insurance so um it's not as bad as you know as i thought it would be so that's one thing that i recommend you make sure um before you get into a surgery mm, i actually wrote something here to you know be able to explain to you everything that I, you know, I'm going through this week. Um, with regards to the meds, I don't normally drink my medicine. So if you have any questions with that, I don't normally uh, drink it. I only drink it at night. So I try to avoid drinking meds as much as possible. Um, I think that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, just post a comment. Um, hopefully uh, I'll be able to answer all your your questions um, in in maybe a few days I'll post another video to, to, to show you some updates but um, thank you thank you for watching the video and if you're going through the same injury um, just stay positive every week it gets better every week it gets easier and some days will be hard but when you know when you are experiencing those kind of you know those kind of days know that you're not alone and that's part of the journey all right so stay positive and thank you for watching the video